Hello all. Here we have a setup with uh, Arduino you know, and then Arduino Shield on top of it. And then we have ADS3115 uh, which is present um, and interfaced with Arduino you know. So how we are interfacing is we have SDA lines from the Shield connected to this breadboard and from here the SDA lines are connected to the ADC. So as we mentioned before, we are using I2C for uh, LCD as well, which we'll be doing later um, <coughs> to read this analog value. But for now, we are directly uh, using um, the Arduino you know, and then uh, the ADS3115 interface to SDA. And then uh, we have provided 5 volts here uh, to VDD and ground from Arduino shield to this. And then um, we have a0 pin which is connected to a potentiometer here okay so the uh, output of the potentiometer is connected to this and to one end of the potentiometer we have five volts and the other end of the potentiometer we have ground so in our block we have a um, post which says how to connect the uh, this uh, trimmer potentiometer this is called trimmer potentiometer um, we have shown how to connect the trimmer potentiometer in circuits. So this is the basic setup and let us see uh, how to uh, get the program for ADS3115 for Arduino and uh, read the values. Thank you. Here is a code to interface ADS3115 16-bit Sigma Delta ADC with Arduino you know. So this is a code that is available uh, in in the library manager. So if you type ADS3115, you will get a lot of uh, libraries, um, basically the driver codes, and then uh, the basic application code as well, uh, reading the value. Now, we have taken um, ADS3115 driver by WH1TE, rabbit HQ, and tried to work on it. So the first thing um, we have to check here is, are you passing the right uh, I2C address? Because I2C works based on slave address, right? Master sends uh, data to the slave and uh, slave responds back with the data, right? For that, for the first thing is, uh, slave will have some address, okay? Now, uh, to check what is there, so if you see here, there are four types of uh, addresses that are being present here, right? Based on what you connect to the ADDR pin on your board. On, on the board which we are using, as we have discussed previously, ADDR is connected to ground. Uh, whereas um, ADDR could be connected to VDD, ADDR could be connected to SCL, ADDR could be connected to SDA. Based on that, address is going to vary. So now, Ensure that you you um, send the correct I2C address here. Post that in the setup, we have serial port which is being uh, uh, <coughs> initialized at 115200, and then we are first resetting the um, ADS315 and we are using single mode of conversion rather than continuous conversion here and uh, we are setting the data rate to uh, 250 samples per second as we know we can go up to 850 right but if you go to the definition you can see um, it starts from 8 and you can go up to 860 okay we are using 250 samples per second and then the programmable gain uh, the pga that is present which we talked uh, during the data sheet thing um, <coughs> is set to 1. So if, if you see that means while converting the multiplier value based on that will be 0 0.125 okay and then post that in the loop what we are doing is we are calling a read value which is part of the um, uh, library uh, which we have imported and then here you have to give the correct um, ADC uh, which we are using. So if it's a differential, you have to give this A0 and AN1. Um, if, uh, if it's a single-ended, we are going to measure with respect to ground and it's not differential. So 
we are using a n zero here to ground and then we are printing the value uh, on every new line okay and then post some delay we are again <coughs> reading the value and posting that's what we are doing in this code now let us try to compile this and let us try to run this okay uh, Okay, and click the serial port. Let us try to clear the serial port. You can see here we are continuously reading a value of 1539. Now, um, I'm just varying the port here. As we have shown, we have connected a port. So, I'm just varying the port and I'm reducing the voltage value. You can see here the value is getting reduced and uh, I'm increasing back again the voltage that is being applied to the A0 value using a port and the value is increasing. So this is how uh, we can read ADS3115 um, ADC value uh, over I2C from Arduino Uno. So a, a, a very a, a simple thing, right? If you are using libraries, it's easy. If you have to build your library from the scratch, you need to understand um, the registers register set inside the ADC, see what are all the settings to be done and major problems while working on ADS3115, uh, we made a separate video, you can have a look at it. Like example, if you, if you have a problem reading the um, ADC value um, <coughs> over I2C, what could all be the possible failure scenarios, we created a video uh, separately. So please do check out our channel for the same and it is part of our embedded videos playlist. Uh, so this is how we are going to um, interface ADS3115 over I2C. Uh, and <coughs> in the uh, next coming videos, we will try to interface uh, um, this with Node MCU and send the data to um, the things board and see uh, how the value is displaying. We can also display the same over uh, um, LCD as well. <coughs> which actually um, gives the uh, value that is being uh, used. Now, one more point to remember here is we are actually uh, displaying the, um, the um, value that is being read in the register here. If you want to specifically uh, convert it into uh, a proper analog value that you are reading, uh, you have to create a table on your own uh, matching the physical value with the value that is being read and see if uh, um, and use appropriate conversion to get the output. So that is how you have to uh, little uh, modify this application code to get the accurate value. If you are uh, trying to map one on one with voltages, if you already know in the background one on one of voltage versus ADC red value, then that is well and clear. No need to separately convert and do it. So, again, it's a strategy by guys based on their requirements. Thank you.